U.S. service members have been warned not to use Chinese artificial intelligence program DeepSeek over its potential security risks and ethical concerns. Hawley's new bill, which was introduced in the last week of January, aims to stop people in the United States from helping to develop artificial intelligence in China. Ben Brooks, a research fellow at Harvard, referred to this as the most unbelievable legislative bills against AI production. If this bill passes, anyone who brings in technology or ideas from China could face up to 20 years in prison and hefty fines, up to $1 million for individuals and $100 million for companies. This seems pretty extreme, and it might cause the bill to fail since it's not been long since it was tabled, which usually means it's losing support. Still, the bill highlights the fear among lawmakers after the huge rise of deep seek and the big sell-off that happened in the past week. Congress is trying hard to keep China out to protect U.S. market interests. Even lawmakers from different parties, like Hawley and Elizabeth Warren, believe the Biden administration didn't act quickly enough before banning AI chip exports to China in 2022. In a letter to Congress, they criticized past administrations for failing to update and enforce export controls due to corporate influence and urged Congress to prevent this from continuing. This month, DeepSeek released a report indicating that OpenAI's most advanced AI chatbots are capable of achieving performance levels comparable to their competitors while utilizing significantly fewer computational resources. This revelation has sparked concerns among investors and analysts on Wall Street who are beginning to question whether the current valuations of AI companies are justified, given the potential for more efficient alternatives. The implications of this efficiency could lead to a reevaluation of investment strategies in the tech sector, particularly in AI, as stakeholders assess the sustainability of high market valuations in light of emerging technologies. In addition to these market dynamics, there is growing apprehension among U.S. lawmakers regarding the potential national security threats posed by Chinese advancements in artificial intelligence. Some legislators, including Senators Josh Hawley and Elizabeth Warren, are advocating for stricter export controls aimed at curbing Chinese companies' access to critical AI technologies, particularly high-performance chips produced by American semiconductor giant NVIDIA. These chips are essential for developing advanced AI systems, and limiting access could hinder China's progress in this field. The urgency of these discussions has been underscored by the recent turmoil in the stock market, where U.S. companies have collectively seen a staggering loss of over $1 trillion in market value due to the sudden influx of competition from Chinese firms. This competitive pressure has prompted a reevaluation of strategies among American tech companies as they strive to maintain their market positions and innovate in the face of rising global competition. In a related development, NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, recently met with former President Donald Trump just days after the company experienced the largest single-day loss in market history. The specifics of their conversation remain undisclosed, but a spokesperson for NVIDIA indicated that the discussion centered around the imperative to enhance U.S. leadership in technology and artificial intelligence. This meeting highlights the intersection of corporate interests and national policy as the U.S. government seeks to bolster its technological edge amid increasing competition from abroad. As the landscape of AI continues to evolve, the interplay between market dynamics, national security concerns, and corporate strategies will likely shape the future of the industry. Investors, policymakers, and tech leaders will need to navigate these complexities to ensure that the U.S. remains at the forefront of technological innovation while addressing the challenges posed by global competition it seems pretty doubtful that there's enough support to completely ban Americans from using DeepSeek. This is especially true when you think about the ongoing debates over the TikTok ban. That ban started because of worries about national security, was approved by Congress last year, but is now stuck because Trump has changed his mind about it, even though he was in favor of it before. So does DeepSeek's AI chatbot bring the same dangers, or are lawmakers just trying to protect American businesses? After all, some of them have a personal stake in this situation. Well, before we look at the security issues surrounding DeepSeek, it's necessary that we understand what DeepSeek is so we can follow smoothly with the motion. What is DeepSeek? DeepSeek is an innovative artificial intelligence company based in Hangzhou, China, 
that has quickly made a name for itself in the tech industry since its inception in May 2023. Founded by Liang Wenfeng, a distinguished alumnus of Zhejiang University, the company has roots in the financial sector, as Liang was also instrumental in the establishment of Highflyer, a quantitative hedge fund that has a stake in DeepSeek. This connection to Highflyer not only provides DeepSeek with financial backing, but also allows for a unique synergy between AI research and quantitative finance. As of now, DeepSeek operates as an independent AI research lab, although it maintains a collaborative relationship with Highflyer. The specifics regarding the amount of funding DeepSeek has secured and its current valuation remain undisclosed, adding an air of intrigue to the company's financial standing. DeepSeek is committed to advancing the field of artificial intelligence through the development of open source large language models. The company launched its first model in November 2023, marking the beginning of its journey in the competitive landscape of AI. Since then, DeepSeek has been proactive in refining its offerings, releasing several updates and different versions of its models to enhance performance and usability. The turning point for DeepSeek came with the introduction of their R1 reasoning model in January 2025. This model garnered significant attention and acclaim, propelling the company into the global spotlight and establishing it as a key player in the AI domain. The R1 model is noted for its advanced reasoning capabilities, setting a new standard for LLMs and attracting interest from various sectors, including technology, finance, and academia. In addition to its cutting-edge models, DeepSeek provides a range of services designed to facilitate user engagement and accessibility. These services include a user-friendly web interface, a mobile application, and API access, allowing developers and businesses to integrate DeepSeek's powerful AI capabilities into their own applications and workflows. How DeepSeek Innovation Was Trained DeepSeek has adopted a distinctive approach to training its R1 models, setting itself apart from industry giants like OpenAI. Their methodology is characterized by a more efficient use of resources, as they have invested less time and utilize fewer AI tools throughout the development process. This strategic focus has allowed them to maintain lower costs while still making significant advancements in the field of artificial intelligence. DeepSeek's overarching ambition is to achieve artificial general intelligence, and their recent enhancements in reasoning capabilities indicate that they are making substantial progress toward this goal. In a recent research paper, the team at DeepSeek outlined several innovative concepts they have developed for the R1 model, each contributing to the model's enhanced performance and efficiency. One of the key innovations is their application of reinforcement learning. DeepSeek has implemented a large-scale approach that specifically targets reasoning tasks, allowing the R1 model to learn and adapt more effectively in complex scenarios. This method emphasizes the importance of reasoning in AI development positioning DeepSeek's models to tackle intricate problems with greater proficiency. Another significant advancement is their work on reward engineering. This involves creating a specialized rule-based system that outperforms traditional neural reward models. By refining the way rewards are structured, DeepSeek has been able to provide clearer guidance on how the AI should learn during its training phase. This tailored approach to reward systems enhances the model's ability to make informed decisions and improves all round learning outcomes. DeepSeek has also made strides in distillation, a process that allows them to condense their models down to a mere 1.5 billion parameters while preserving their core capabilities. This reduction in size not only makes the models more efficient, but also facilitates faster processing and deployment, making them more accessible for various applications without sacrificing performance. Lastly, the introduction of the Emergent Behavior Network represents a groundbreaking development in DeepSeek's research. This network demonstrates that complex reasoning abilities can emerge organically through reinforcement learning processes without the need for explicit programming. This finding suggests that the R1 model can develop sophisticated reasoning skills autonomously, further aligning with DeepSeek's vision of achieving AGI. Now that we've seen how DeepSeek innovation was trained, Let's explore some of its security issues. Could this be the real reason behind passing the bill? Well, let's find out. DeepSeek experiences security attack. Security researchers from the University of Pennsylvania and Cisco have discovered that DeepSeek's main AI model, R1, is really easy to hack. 
According to a blog post, Wired reported that researchers found out that DeepSeek failed to block any harmful prompts when it was tested with 50 random prompts from the HarmBench dataset. This data set includes topics like cybercrime, misinformation, some illegal activities, and harm in general. The blog pointed out that this is very different from other top models, which showed at least some ability to resist these harmful prompts. This is a big deal because DeepSeek has already caused a lot of trouble in the AI world. The company claims that its R1 model can compete with top models like OpenAI's O1, but at a much lower price, which has made Wall Street investors nervous. However, it seems like the company hasn't done much to protect its AI from being misused. This means it could be easy for someone with bad intentions to use it for spreading false information or even to learn how to make dangerous things. This news follows a report from Wiz, a cloud security research company, which found a huge unsecured database on DeepSeek servers that contained a lot of unencrypted internal data, including some chat history and people's sensitive information. DeepSeek exhibits significant vulnerabilities, lacking any authentication or protective measures against external threats, as reported by Wiz. The AI system, owned by a Chinese hedge fund, has garnered attention for its remarkably low training and operational costs compared to its American counterparts. However, this cost effectiveness may entail considerable risks. Researchers from Cisco and the University of Pennsylvania noted that DeepSeek R1 was reportedly developed with significantly fewer financial resources than other leading models. They cautioned that this economic advantage comes at the expense of safety and security. So until the main reason behind the bill is revealed, Let's keep pondering on its security deficiency. And who knows, we might be right. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.